いろんなあのメニューが出たのでこの「ドラゴンソクマ2」では「ドラゴンソクマンワン」よりさらにいろんな複雑な関係があるんだなっていうのがすごく分か伝わりましたそうですねまたすごい展開になってきてるからいやもう「ドラゴンソクマンワン」はグリフィンに興味なさそうな感じですかねグリフィンはあまり興味なさそうな感じですかねうん、ホーミングファイアー、そういや、the archer character here、um,、you can see with L1 brings up different arrow types。there's flame、ice、lightning、there's even a healing arrow。but that flaming arrow you were shooting has a sort of a homing directional quality too where you can、oh God, uh, steer it in midair。マジックアーチャー、いろんな、えっと、カスタムスキルがあるんですけど、その中でもこの炎の矢は、まあ。相手のいるところまであの追撃できるっていう,あいうあの自分で操作して当たらせるっていう特徴があってすごく使いやすいですねそうですねしかもあの特にこのグリフィンにはすごくよく聞く技なのでめちゃめちゃ聞いてますね。Yeah, and as you can see, the homing fire arrow is a particularly useful skill against,、uh, effective skill against the griffin. So,、mm-hmm. yeah, you can see it's inflicting a lot of damage. Yeah. And the other, one of the pawns, Luke, is、like、grappled onto the side of its face. And it's just an ex- a good time to talk about there's three pawns here supporting the Magic Archer. But obviously, when you build your own party, you want to complement different strengths and vocations. So, what are the, the three pawns we're playing with here, and how might they help this class? The, eh, to, ma, to, do, いいので、ポーンに関して改めて、まあ、このゲームでは自分のポーンあの自分のメインポーンを作るのと、まあ、パーティーを構成するときにいろんなジョブをバランスよく、えー、と選ぶっていう、えー、とコツがあると思うんですけど例えば今マジックアーチャーに対して、まあ、今どんなポーンがいてどういうバランあのどんなふうにバランスがすればバランスが取りやすいんでしょうかそうそうマジックアーチャーの攻撃って基本的には魔法攻撃ばっかりになりますので。Oh. あの物理攻撃が効くキャラそしてあの近距離で物理攻撃が効くキャラと組み合わせると、まあ、バランスは良くなりますね。So for example, the magic archer, all the attacks of the magic archer are magic attacks,、mm. uh, as you can see from long to medium distance. So it becomes a good balance when you use a magic archer with pawns that have vocations specialized in close counter attacks and physical attacks. That balances the party pretty well. Nice. こ,れね、こうやってね、街中にグルフィン連れてきて戦うと、まあ、もちろんその逃げ惑ったりすごいことになってるんですけども、これで重要人物とかが巻き込まれて、死んじゃったりすると大変ですよ。Also, one thing all worthy, as you can see right now, is there's mayhem because the griffin is you're engaging in battle with the griffin inside the city. In the city, yeah. So, not only that, but If one of the main characters,、uh, main, uh, main, uh, relevant NPCs, gets involved in this battle、mm-hmm. and passes away or something, that has serious consequences in the game. Right, like those relationships we were talking about. So, I think it's a good thing to talk about. Ah, so this is the case. 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 結構後で苦労すると思います。Not only that, but not only the relationships, but also if they get if, if some of the relevant NPCs for specific quests get involved in these battles and pass away or something, it will have significant impact on your progress. So,、right. yeah, the recommendation when you are engaging in battle and drag the monsters to the cities, get rid of them or drive them away from the cities as soon as possible. I had quite the posse for this one. Yeah, Thanks, it's nice they showed up to help. That's pretty cool. Go on. いろんな NPC に助けてもらってますね。そうですね。あのこういうところで戦うと、まあみんな助けてくれたり、あの武器持ってらっしゃる人は逃げ回ったりとか、NPC がそれぞれその自分の役割で動きます。That's the thing. Every NPC has their role. So NPCs with weapons help engage in combat because they can all be affected. NPCs that don't have any weapons just run away. They act accordingly to their role in the game.、Hmm. And so that was we took one step out of town, and that happened. So.、Uh, <laughs> What else is, as players, kind of, when the game comes out later this month in March,、uh, what can they expect when they really set out into the world? Like, what is the typical experience for Dragon's Dog when you get started and set out into the map? I'm going to go to the map. 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 
今あの行ったところしかマップを剥げないんですけどもマップのどんどんこうマスクを取っていって新しいものを発見していくと、まあ、次の展開がどんどん回ってるのでどんどんどんどんマップのマスクを取っていくように行動していくのがいいかなと思います。<笑> oh, <no. 笑> the recommendation would be well the map only shows the part the areas where you've been to、uh, so yeah we would recommend people to Clear the map as, as much as possible、uh, because that will show you the next areas of interest,、mm-hmm. other, other places where you'll find interesting things to do. So, yeah, try to pro- priority on making the map as visible as possible. And these harpies are no joke. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, God. oh God. Yeah, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> let's use one. Hey, let's, let's use I'm going to need some extra help. I couldn't even trust it, but he was saying, yeah, you're, you're about to, p e t e Yep. Let's get back up there. Can we from here? I think you might be missing a pawn. Yeah, you yeah it looks like it. Yeah, it fell behind. Whoa. <laughs> But that, that kind of a, this, this exact kind of emergent situational thing was, was definitely a hallmark of the original Dragon's Dogma, where you're fighting a small enemy and then a larger one shows up, and now total chaos breaks out. Your pawns. Oh, got him. It, it, and it's just a sense of chaos that's, that's, I don't know, it feels very dynamic and, and alive, which was very fun. And I mean, obviously back here for the second game. In Dragon's Dogma 1, when you were fighting in the game, you were able to get more and 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 more. やってて楽しいですねこれはいやもう特にあの2はあの敵がどこまでも追ってくるのでこういうシチュエーションは多いですよかなり気をつけないと。And a big difference in Dragon's Dogma 2 is that、uh, the, the, player, the enemies will keep chasing you all over the place so、uh, this kind of situations are even more common so yeah proceed with care。Yeah and obviously we, we're not on any particular quest right now we're kind of Roaming the countryside, showing off some combat. The Griffin fight was kind of a, a dynamic thing that happened.、Um, but in general, you would have a primary quest and a number of side quests, and then obviously just the sense of exploration as you go across the world map and see what happens. あのメインクエストなりサイドクエストなりを進めながら、えー、こういうこういった戦闘でを楽しみながら進んでいくっていう流れなんでしょうかそうですねあのもうクエストにメインもサ,サイドもそんなに区別はしてないんですけどもまあ気になったクエストから順番にやっていけば話は自然に進むようになっていますので気になったクエストからやっていただければいいかなと思っています。One thing noteworthy is that there's no clear distinction in this game between main, main quests and side quests.、Oh. So it's made in a way that we encourage the,、uh, the player to go and do the quests that they feel like doing, and that w- will allow natural progression through the game. So you brought someone out to do the fighting for him in a one on one duel. We'll see if you But I have a feeling so the, the vocation we're looking at here is the magic archer. And, あの選択しているのがマジックアーチャーっていうジョブなんですねはいそうですマジックアーチャーはね割と使いやすい強いジョブになりますね Overall the magic archer vocation is a is a very strong is a quite a strong vocation a fairly easy to use、uh, oh. relatively、oh、my easy to use vocation <laughs> Yeah this guy thought he was in for a regular fight yeah, He now, actually、uh, needs to, he gotta bring his friends back in <laughs> Yeah How about four on one after all? このデータのマジックアーチャーだいぶ強いから一方的にやっちゃってますけどね。Also, might be worth noting that in this in the same data that you guys are trying,、uh, we have the magic archer quite low,、uh, at a level that is pretty high. So yeah, it's a fairly unfair battle. <laughs> it's not not fair, but hey, they started it, so. いいんですよ。不確定な方だから。Just desserts. 容赦ないな。No mercy shown.、Huh? None. And everyone who's <laughs> all these onlookers are just kind of like. I'm trying to make a point. I, I spilled my drink <laughs> over here. As, as the alley is exploding. All right, so we've had enough. One thing we were going to try to show off here is the ability to purchase a home. 
Yes, that's one of the characteristics of Dragon's Dogma 2. Uh, it won't come for free. There are surprises, as you can see, but you are able to purchase your own room. And when you have a room, then you can just use it to rest and uh, recover your stats. Mm -hmm. Very reasonable real estate prices yeah. in the city. Nope, this is because this same data, uh, we prepared it with a significant amount of yeah. uh, resources yeah. for you to use. Yeah, but like uh, having your own place to stay versus like the benefits of that versus what staying in an inn that's going to cost money over time, staying out in the wild comes with its own risks. で、このゲームでは、えっと、自分の部屋以外だと、ま、あの、宿屋に泊まったり、あるいはキャンプ取ったりで、それぞれリスクとかがあるので、ま、それを鑑みると、ま、ま、いろんなも確かにすごく高額